Okay, we're just going to share a little bit of the information that we shared with the folks at the Discover Conference 2015 with respect to amino acid balancing, the NRC 2001 model, and the Formulate 2 core components, how they all work together. We're going to break it into three different segments. We're first going to talk about NRC 2001 and Formulate 2, so you've got some background, you know what those are. We're going to talk about prediction versus performance. NRC 2001 is an animal model that attempts to predict performance from inputs. So we're going to talk about what happens when you have prediction and you try to compare it to performance on a farm. And then in the third section, we're going to talk about how we resolve some of these uh, differences between prediction and performance and the role that efficient, robust optimization plays in, in being able to do that. So to begin with, what is Formulate 2? So I'll give you a, a quick overview of Formulate 2. Uh, Formulate 2 is a diet formulation uh, application for dairy cattle. It implements the NRC 2001 model and provides advanced amino acid balancing capabilities in the process. Okay. Uh, this was the topic that I was given, extracting the full value of NRC 2001 through nonlinear optimization, tapping the true potential of the amino acid submodel. That's a big mouthful. Uh, so I added some to it. It wasn't quite long enough. An efficient, robust, consistent nonlinear solution process is what we're talking about. Not just a nonlinear one, but one that's efficient and robust and gets the job done very quickly. So Formulate 2 as I said, is a diet formulation application that fully implements NRC 2001 model. Uh, that means it's 100% compliant with the model down to predicted amino acid flow at the intestine. But Formulate 2 provides two critical enhancements to the model that the model didn't have when it was first published. And the first of those enhancements is an optimizing solution process. Uh, NRC 2001 is a mixed model. Some of it's linear, some of it's nonlinear. Uh, but this solution process that we're talking about in Formulate 2 operates fully within the nonlinear segments of the model as well as the linear segments. So it's completely compliant with the model in all of its aspects. The model was not linearized or dumbed down uh, in, in this effort to meet the requirements of a linear optimizer. Instead, uh, the solution process was raised to the level of the model to support what the model had to offer. Which means you get 100% compliant solutions from Formulate 2 right down to amino acids of the intestine. If you wanted to go through the exercise, you could take a diet formulated with Formulate 2. You could enter it into the evaluation software that was provided with the published model line up all of your forage analyses and you would see the same amino acid flows in the evaluation software that you see in Formulate 2. Okay. And because it's an optimizing solution process, it's going to accurately consider the relative economic value of all of the ingredients uh, in the diet with respect to amino acid constraints. And that brings us to just a one-pass solution process. If you set a, a constraint for 180 grams of lysine, 60 grams of methionine, that's what you're going to get the very first time through. So there's no manual tweaking involved here in this. It can all be done with the optimization process. That's enhancement number one. That only took uh, three years and well over 7,000 hours of development time to put that into place. Typical solution times on the diets that we're going to be looking at uh, in this series run anywhere from 600 to 1200 milliseconds. So we're talking about solutions that for the most part are going to run under a couple of seconds. So it's a very robust approach to doing this. Enhancement number two is what we call the amino acid and MP calculator. The calculator provides gram requirements for lysine and methionine. Not percentages of MP, but gram requirements. And this is all based on the post-NRC work uh, done at the University of New Hampshire in 2003-2004. And because we have gram requirements, the calculator gives us the ability to refactor the NRC-MP requirement. 
because we have gram requirements, we can move metabolized, total metabolizable protein up and down wherever we need to move it. Okay. So the calculator gives us that capability. Uh, in addition, it gives us the ability to adjust the microbial crude protein yield prediction that the model has uh, to account for changes in rumen fermentation. But we're not going to spend much time on this aspect. We're going to focus primarily here, here, and on this last point. The calculator gives us a milk yield prediction that's based on model predicted true uh, protein yield calculated from model predicted methionine supply. Uh, when the post-NRC work was done at uh, University of New Hampshire, uh, they discovered that the most accurate prediction of the NRC model, most accurate yield prediction, was true protein, not milk. So this prediction of milk yield is being worked back from what the model is predicting in terms of true protein. And we're going to focus on these three again. It's gram requirements, refactoring AMP requirement, and our milk yield prediction based on true protein yield. Okay. Uh, in 2010, uh, we began a collaborative effort with feed management systems. They had a goal. They wanted to bring advanced amino acid balancing capabilities to their diet formulation application, FRB. To do that, we extracted the optimi optimization uh, engine and the amino acid and MP calculator encapsulated them as standalone executables, standalone components that could be added in to uh, actually any diet application that implements the NRC 2001 model. To do that, we wrote an application programming interface that allows these components to drop into another application and function as an extension of them. Okay. Uh, if you're familiar with FRB, these are some of the visual elements that you'll find of the core components running within FRB. And uh, the, the final, actually I said there were three segments, really there's four. The fourth segment is uh, Wayne Gruenhagen is going to give us some background on the experience that he and the folks at Big Gain have had with using this approach, using the software. And this is what they're using. They're using FRB and the core components integrated into FRB. These are just some of the visual elements that you'll see in FRB, the core components. This is the amino acid calculator, and we'll get into this a little later. Uh, this is the visual element that you see of the optimization process, and this one's not important for us. But the Formulate 2 core components, as I said, they can be integrated with any diet formulation application that implements the NRC 2001 model. In fact, it's so simple if the application can read and write uh, text files, then it can integrate the core components.